Good afternoon and welcome to Lilla Shaw. It's the English Schools Football Association under 13 PlayStation FC final. And it's the small schools cup between Ewell Castle School of Surrey against St. Bede's College from Manchester. A very, very good afternoon to you. I am Jonathan Bullard, your commentator. Thank you for joining me this afternoon for this final be getting underway in about five minutes time so that will give us a chance to look through the teams and we're going to start with Yule Castle and they line up as follows Spike Brits in goal Billy Jenkins Oscar Stevenson Rotimi Odorinde Nick Anderson Jack Garside Pierre Lombard Will Sweet the captain Ashton Nag Josh Swain and Elliot Thomas completes their lineup. Moving on to their opponent, St. Bede's College. And this is how they line up with Dominic Brook in goal, Tyreek Chivamar, Cameron Ainsco, William Tully, Louis Fallon is the captain, Kwame Nuamar, Harry O'Gara, Padre Shields, Bennett Mancisador, James Walton and Danny Church. On the bench this afternoon. For Ewell Castle, Sebastian Deval, Ayo Animation, Jan and Jake Salmon are the replacements for St. Bede's College. They have four, Dilly Uckle Ogwe, Gabriel McGough, Patrick Gibbons and Jasper Edison. Boys, come here, we're good to go in the world, please. Team shot in the goal, you can get your traction tops off. You Our officials top. for this game, James Smith is the referee. Grant Hodgson and Colin Williams are the assistant referees and Dan Andrews is the fourth official. say I'm Jonathan Bullard I will be your commentator for this game a little short bathed in bright sunshine which is very different to the first two days of the competition which were played in somewhat rainy conditions nice to see a nice dry pitch and nice dry conditions for this under 13 cup final so the players are just getting ready on the far side your castle on the left hand side there in their navy and white strip St. Bede's on the right hand side in their yellow strip a quick look at how both teams got to the final for your castle they had a 6-1 victory in the first round over Northbridge House School 6-2 over Leighton Park School in round two 8-2 versus Q House in round three 3-2 versus Bede Senior School in round four. And then in round five, a 6-1 victory against Millfield Prep School. The opponents withdrew in the semi-final, which saw them in this final. The first time they have made an English Schools FA final. And they got there with 29 goals scored and eight conceded in the competition so far. For St. Bede's. 8-1 against West Home School in round one, 8-0 against Boland High in round two, 12-0 against Netherhall School in round three. In round four, it was 9-2 against the Holy Family Roman Catholic High School. <coughs> and a 10-0 victory in round five against Morpeth New Minister Middle School. And as with their opponents, their opponents withdrew in the semi-final, which led to this final between Ewell Castle and St. Bede College. They scored 47 goals in making it to this final. 
and conceded just three with three clean sheets. They were the under 12 small schools champions last year. So many of that team back to see if they can make it two in a row with this under 13 title. An interesting fact as well about St. Bede's, five of their alumni were in the squad for the recent Manchester City against Bournemouth game in the EFL Cup. It was played on the 24th of September. Phil Foden, Tommy Doyle, Taylor hammond Bellis, Felix Nuncher and Cole Palmer, all in that Manchester City squad for that game, all St. Bede's alumni. So good pedigree that St. Bede's come into this game with. However, Ewell Castle in their first final, they will be looking to mark their debut with a victory. So an interesting game in prospect. Both teams know where the net is, as the previous rounds will show. However, St. Bede's defence was excellent, conceding just three in those five games in earlier rounds. takes place. Let's see who will have kickoff in this game. <laughs> Referee James Smith just sorting everything out. The assistants going back into their position. The fourth official makes his way off the pitch. And it's going to be St. Bede's who will get this game underway. So 35 minutes each way, if scores are level, after the 70 minutes there will be a penalty shootout to decide the winner. And Cisador stands over the ball, 15 goals in the competition so far this season. So he will definitely be a danger man for St. Bede's. <coughs> Ewell Castle captain Will Sweet is the top goal scorer for them. He scored 17 in the competition. <laughs> Referee James Smith just checking everything is in order. He's having a word with the fourth official. to the right hand side. We're only seconds away from kickoff now. Once the door moves away, slight further delay. about ready to get underway now. A few minutes behind schedule. Not that that is going to matter too much. Good boys! 
Mike Richmond blows his whistle and we are underway. It's cut out in midfield and it will allow your castle to come forward. Here's Odder Endy. Cleared into midfield. Back in though. To the right hand side, Jenkins goes back along the wing, Lombard put into touch, Jenkins will take the throw. Back oh, 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 but once again cut out in midfield. Chance now though, and that's a lovely ball forward. Scissor Dor looking for his options in the centre, goes across. Got it to Church. Church over to O'Gara. O'Gara now looking, he's beaten two. In a dangerous position, it's pulled back. Oh, and Church just couldn't get hold of the shot. That's a confident start from both teams, both seeing plenty of the ball in these early stages. So just over two minutes gone. Tight goes back, chance for to field ball and now send B to look to attack again. Walter and Sizador, Man Sizador checks back, looking for an opening. Mike, find one now, it's took a deflection. That should be a corner. Really confident play there by Bennett Mansisdorp. Just looking for the opening on the edge of the area. However, managed to win the corner. First one of the game. The referee seeing a little bit of pushing and shoving. It's going to come in now. Building, but confidently taken by Spike Bricks in the UO Castle goal. He kicks it out. Close to the right hand side. Just touched on by Lombard, but went into to touch. It's a throw for St. Pete. Back with me, fellas, please. Back with me. Throw. Gotta keep going back for us, buddy. Please keep going, keep going. Tell you where to Back, back, back. Keep going, mate. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Thank you. What do you think, the lad? Put forward. Get It's a good tackle. Well, uh, you were cast to come forward again, but it's one back by St. Beats. Surrounded by four players. Now it gives a chance for you to attack. Could have been dangerous. It's a corner. So, your castle, their first corner of the game. Flies overhead. <laughs> Corner comes in. Back into the danger area. Good header back in. 
Cross goes behind, so that'll be a goal kick. Dominic Brook going to retrieve the ball. Just coming up to six minutes gone in this first half of 35 minutes. Looking to build down the right hand side of Sebi to let's well one back. One back again. Two good tackles in the middle of the field and allows St. Beads to come forward. Rats has to come out. And now he's out of his goal. So loft to the top goal. What a finish! What a goal! Incredible stuff! Well, Brits was well out of his goal. Let's have a look at the replay. You see here. Just fired in into the net. And Brits is furious with himself, as you can see. But it's St. Beads who take the lead. 1 0. What a shot that was. Great awareness as well to see the keeper well off his line, but still had to put it into the net. Great control. Man on, man on, man on. Keep possession of the throw. Now here's a chance to gain. Scissor Dork going into the centre. That's a shot from an angle, and Scissor Dork wanted it to come to him. Let's uh, look at that one again. Harry O'Gara looking to go himself. And Scissor Dork asking why you didn't get the square ball. Which would have been a tap in. However, yeah. O'Gara did have a good look at the net there, but good closing down by Spike Ritz. And it remains 1 0 to St. Beats. Comes in long. Oh, that's that's his height. No. Oh, safely though for St. Bede's and what he was looking for at Man Scissor Dork. Quite fine, Dimmit allows. Well, sweet to get on it and he tries the shot across the face of goal. Spike, the captain, top goal scorer. For you, Castle. His first real look at goal there. Putting it right across. And it seems that St. Beads are favouring this right hand side. That one goes into touch, though. Come on. Get your hands down. 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 Get your Sweet, he's offside, and it was an excellent save as well from Dominic Brook. But nice play by Ewell Castle. Hey, Jenkins and Timmy Odorindi involved there. Here's Odorindi again. Just gets it toe poked away from him, though. Right here. Jenkins just shepherds that out the throw, taken quickly. It's another throw. James Coe just heading it back out into touch. 
down the line once again. Still in. Still in. Lombard. It's two for company. No real support there for him. Allows St. Beads to come away. It's a lovely ball. That's a really nice play. Ogara, great speed shown, great defensive work there, superb by Odorindi. Was hoping he'd run on for the return pass, wasn't happening. Beats again. Neymar is taking off him. Some beats retain possession. Neymar again. This is Neymar looking for an opening. That's a lovely ball. This is looking to run onto it. Bricks is there first though. Church as well though goes back to his goalkeeper. Sweet goes down, he's hurt, but there's no free kick. And there is an injury. Play continues. He's up and okay. Takes a deflection, that'll be a throw for St. Bleeds. Takes it, so throw now for you or Castle. This game is out of play. Wow. Shields. This is a door can't take it with him, it's well cut out. Good strength shown there. Goes down. Left hand side for UL Castle, but the pass was too strong. Goes out of play. Push again, Josh. Push again, Josh. Squeeze on, Josh. Time! Get it. Time is the shout as Church doesn't find a teammate with the pass. Long ball. Um, New Mark. Only oh, finds its way to Spike Brits. It's a drop. Head of the way. My aim's clean. Nice play by Ogara. Pass doesn't find its mark. It's cut out by Stevenson. Stevenson puts it into touch. It's going to be a St. Bede's throw. Your castle may look to deploy the long throw here. That's what we're going to do. Hey, get in. Jack, you get touched, Ty. Nick on the sweep. And we speak to Billy. We speak to Billy. Billy. Now we've got another player. 
Okay, three, shape, shape early. Shape early. Goal kick. Dominic Brook will take it. Has to go short. Come on, Pierre! Come on! Down their left hand side this time. Billy, come on, that's you! Walton. Crowded out of it. Possession. Time is the shout. Put into touch. Billy Jenkins not happy. I think he felt that the pass was on there. Nick Anderson taking no chances. Strong tackle there by Newamar. Just coming up to halfway through this first half. St. Bede's leading 1 0. Where we go, keeper? One shot into what was an empty net. The difference between the sides at the moment. Scissor but the whistle goes. He was just offside, I think. He's alright mate, he's aware the line of what I'm asking as well. Take a free kick. Take a the play in midfield, but loses out again. James, I'm behind you, come on, boys! Take it on. Walton. The shout says he needed support. Seeds the free kick. Assistant referee giving that one. So, Brit again. Quick take the free kick. Yeah, Josh, one more on. That's it. Bit deep there, Josh. Tuck it. it down the right hand side. Headed into touch. We needed a little bit of communication there. Two centimeters players went up the net. It's sweet. Looking for some. It's a penalty. I think it was just inside the box. Let's see if we can take another look at that. Yeah, it was just inside the box as he went down. Referee had no hesitation appointing the spot. So Ewell Castle with a penalty and a chance to equalise. Sweet is going to take it. Lombard. We're giving him some words of advice, so it is Will Sweet against Dominic Brook. Sweet comes up. Oh, that's well taken into the corner, and it is the equaliser. Great penalty. Let's have a look again. Left foot into. The bottom left hand corner of Dominic Brooks' goal. And we're all square at 1 1. Straight out into touch. It's a nice play and a nice pass which finds James Walton. Walton looking to go for it. He's cut out by Anderson, though. And that allows you, Castle, to try and build from the back once again. 
Thames again. It's out for a throw. Nice pass, he might get it back, or it was just it wasn't hard enough for the return pass. Jenkins running into space brilliantly. Lombard looking to get the cross in, but wins the throw. Well Bricks well out of his goal. Brings it off, but has to receive it back. Oh, and now that's a bad mistake. And Bricks brings down Man Scissor and he could be in trouble here. Scissor looks hurt. He was away. It would have been an almost certain goal because it was an open net. The Spike Bricks has been spoken to by the referee, but no further action taken. Let's watch this again. You can see there he was. He was away if he. Not pass, but Brits bringing him down had to do it really, or it was a certain goal. Referee choosing not to show a card for that challenge. Free kick, slightly to the right of centre. Say 30 yards out. Are they going to have a crack? I think they might. It's a four man wall. Oh, that's nice play. Ogara looking to get it across. It was a great save from Brits. I think Ogara might have been going for goal there. It was a hard shot, but Brits was equal to it and concedes the corner. Danger not gone away. St. Beads look to retake the lead. Cross back in. Chance of a header there. And Ames Coat puts it wide. It was pretty much a free header. He used his height well, but just couldn't get the head, header on target. Goal kick for this is your your Castle. Go on! First to the ball! Instructions from the coaches on the sidelines. Jenkins. Under pressure from Walton. Jenkins concedes the throw. Good pressure by Walton there. Forced Jenkins to put it out of play. Okay, that mate, thank you. Go on your seat, go on your seat. Ainsco with the throw and looking for Man Scissor Free kick. System referee seemed to be indicating it. Well, that is it's a foul throw, so the throw goes to Neil Castle. Jenkins will take it. Come on, boys, you've got it set to see. And he goes. Oh, Jenkins looking to get going quickly. Oh, doesn't find a teammate with the same name. Sisador. There's a lot to do. Anderson. Nice play. 
Shield. Scissor door. Looking to get Ogara away. Ogara. Oh, nice save. Really great save by Brits there. Let's have a quick look at that one again. It was a lovely pass through. Man, scissor door to Ogara. Ogara running onto it. Time and space. Brits does well. Stays at 1 1. Has been chances. It's still just a goal apiece. Well taken by Sweet. Unfortunately, can't keep it in play. And Scissor Yeah, press now. Out the fence. It's out to play. Just under 10 minutes remaining in this first half. Go long, and that's a great ball. Mancisador against Brits. Mancisador around him and finds the net. That's a lovely finish. Oh, take a bow. Ben at Mancisador, his 16th goal of the competition. Let's look at this one again. It was a lovely ball through for him to run on to. Brits came out, he went round him. Still had work to do as players look to get back on the line, but he found the empty net. And St. Beads lead by two goals to one in this under 13 final. And at Mancisador, the goal scorer. There we go, go together. Can Neil Castle get back on terms before half time or St. Bede stretch their lead further? Find out in the next seven minutes or so. St. Bede's free kick. In half. Josh, great win, Josh Wade. Second. Josh Wade. Josh Wade. Second. Josh Wade. 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 That's well taken away and now a chance. Great speed shown there by Arderindi. Now it's Nag, goes back up. And he finds Danny Church who puts it out of play. Just a reminder that there will be a player of the match vote into the second half. You'll get a chance to choose from four players, two from each side. That vote will be approximately halfway through the second half. And that will be on Twitter, on the English Schools FA Twitter, which is at Schools Football. So get involved with that. I will mention that again when it's closer to the time. So you can get on Twitter and vote for your player of the match from the four choices that will be available. That's later on, though. Put long, looking for Walton. Walton takes it well. He's up against Jenkins. Jenkins does well, but can't keep it in play. Good battle between Jenkins and Walton. Newmar takes the long shot. Not too much of a problem for Spike Brits. Plays it long. Back, oh, that's lost to Mancisador. He's clear again. He finds the net, but the whistle had gone. 
He was probably just half a yard offside. It was a lovely finish. But it won't count. It's offside. Shield. Calm play there by Josh Swain. Just put back to his goalkeeper. Jenkins has it now. Him and Walton battling again. Walton. Thought he wouldn't throw. He's actually going to. Well Castle. So that particular battle won by Jenkins that time. It's been an interesting battle between those two throughout this first half. Come on. What have you? Lombard. Come on, come on, come on, get out! play, it was pushing out by Ian's coat. Now take the throw. Yeah, we're not Keep it Danger. Whistle goes again, and... Free looks like he's got... Gone to his notebook. It's a yellow card. I can only think that something was said because there didn't appear to be a foul. First button of the match. Big ten for me nine, please. Big ten nine. Yes. 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 Oh, that's a nice pass, Walton, up against Jenkins, Walton wins that time, doesn't get past the second defenceman. Hands, hands! Looking to put it down the line. Plus stoppages left in this first half. First win, first win. Play off it. There we go, play off it. still bathed in sunshine as it on. Wins it back. Looking for Ogara down the line. It's well cut out though. Oscar Stevenson cutting it out of play. Had to be offside. Badger <laughs> Shields. Good. Four or five yards offside there. I don't think you can have any complaints about the whistle. Stay there, come stay there. Brits will take free kick. Again, the pass forward from Lamar, just a little on the heavy side. Yeah, well, 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 Wins the throw. We're into stoppage time on, at the end of the first half now. So Beads leading by two goals to one. Hurry, hurry. Hurry. Go, 
at the end of this half he's played in that's a lovely pass but again it's offside Lombard was away or thought he was he was just a little too far forward it was a lovely pass to find him good heads up play for Lombard just offside Rogara gets it. Shields well taken away. Looking to get forward, it's a free kick for your castle. That would be the last opportunity of this first half. Anderson buys it in. The ball is the cry, nothing doing. It's cleared out and the referee does blow the whistle for the end of the first half. And the first half which sees St. Bede's leading by two goals to one over Ewell Castle. Take a look at the highlights from the first half. Here's the opening goal dropped into the net after Brits had cleared but was too far out and it was fired back in. O'Gara had a chance not long after that and Sisador wanting it in the centre but O'Gara opting for the shot into the side netting. Then the penalty, sweep taken down just inside the box and the captain of your castle <laughs> took the penalty himself a confident strike into the corner and that was the equaliser for your castle so 1-1 one, one. then an incident as Brits just lost control and Sisador was looking to get away and would probably put it into an empty net Brits having to take him down though And O'Gara with a chance, Brits making another excellent save. And then this is the go-ahead goal, and Sisador beautifully around the keeper. Nearly lost his balance as well, and popped it into the empty net. And that was that for the first half. So at half time, it's your Castle School 1, St. Bede's College 2. We'll be back very shortly with the second half.
Welcome back to Lilla Show. Second half about to get underway here. Castle in navy blue and white shirts will get us away. They're kicking from right to left in this half. St. Bede's in the yellow, kicking from left to right. 35 minutes left in this game. St. Bede's leading by two goals to one. Free James Smith about to get us underway in the second period. Okay. So second half underway here. Straight away. Fortunate for Odorindi there, he couldn't take it on. It's a throw in to St. Beads. Play. But again, equally good defence. Yes. 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 Salmon taking a shot, but it was blocked. Gets it back. Good. Set. Right back. Right back. Good, Harry. Mack just can't quite take it on with him. Gara has it for St. Beads. It goes down the line. Back into the centre now. That's a nice pass. And Oh, I thought he might have just stayed on side there. Unfortunately not. Dilly Yuka, Argue, the substitute getting away. Let's have a look at the replay. CV is probably just about a yard offside. The whistle was late though. Side, Harry. Harry. Yeah, nice finish, but unfortunately, it will not count. Nice touch. Carl gets it back. It's good pressure by St. Beads. It's just over the head. Keeps it in though, does well. Cross comes in from Mancisdor. 
finally gets some ways to play it. Only as far as Omar. Fully down the line. Bargui is been seen a lot of the ball since it came on. The goal disallowed for offside. Good introduction to the game for St. Beads. Awful lot of the ball. Sweet. Now he takes it on, but didn't have too much power behind the shot, and it's just for Dominic Brooke. On to this one. Shouts for handball, not given here. Sweet. Looking for a bit of space. He's got four players around him. Ops to go to the wing. Just misses everybody. Oh, I have to get away. It's fine. Gara does well. Gets the ball. Needs a bit of support though. Oh, that's superb. What great skill. Brick has to take it. He's onside. Man Cisador. Oh, what a finish. It's 3 1. Let's have a look at this one again. Ball over the top, Mancisador runs onto it. This time it's onside, and it's an emphatic finish. And at Mancisador. And it's 3 1 at St. Bede's lead now. So, can you at Castle? You heard from the sidelines there. I need to get back into this game. Got time. Still 30 minutes left in this final. No free kick. Game. Oh, that's a lovely play. Gets to the byline. Who's in the centre for him? Mancisador, and it's into the hands of Spike Fritz. Mancisador again. He's had an excellent game. And at Mancisador, there's an injury from the build up to that play that started earlier. I think it's Jack Garside that's down. <laughs> receiving treatment. Well, Garside receives treatment. Let's take a look at that third St. Bede's goal. This is the door again. Just so calm on the ball. Bricks came out to him, but found the net. Superb finish. Top goal scorer for St. Beats in the competition. Scored 25 goals as well in the 2019 competition of St. Beats. Took the under 12 title last year. So it's a St. Bede's throw. Danny. 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 Danny.
Barkley back into the centre. Nobody there in any way, shirt. It might be now as it's fired back in. Brace once again. Holds on. Danny Church with the shot this time. It's Church again. Shields. Ogara. Ogara using his speed and size. Ogara looking for an opening. Again. Straight at Brits, but Brits had to hold on. Still very well, Spike Brits. Stampy just starting to go through the gears a little bit now. You and Castle just need to get some possession, some time on the ball. They might do now. Here's Nag. Straight against Louis Fallon. Get up! Tennis there. has it. This is Dory. It's back to Shields. Shields gets it a little too far in front of him. Not all out. Over in deep. Lombard loses out. Ogara has it. Oh, that's a nice ball. Oh, nice. Ogargui scores his second offside goal. On the game. That was close. He was probably just offside. But again, it was a nice finish by the young man. Twice he's found the net, and twice he's been whistled down for offside. Cut out of play by Ainscope. Billy Jenkins coming to take the throw. Let's go again. Tommy Ball into touch. It's just sweet, sweet. It's taken down. That'll be a free kick. Chance for you. you Castle to get the ball into the box. Nick, 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 not on the keeper, Louis. Nick, get on the get keeper. Off the Nick, get, get on the, the keeper. keeper. Nick. William, get off the keeper. Applied themselves well. What is their first English schools FA in line with the taker. Final. Better position. Tyreek in line. William in line. Go on now, make it very interesting. Oh, you, Dominic. Just Back, under runners. 24 minutes remaining. Plus stoppage time. Well done, Wale. Well done. Attack the front. Attack the front. Jake, attack the front. Crossed in. Oh, that's oh, easy for Dominic Brook. He's to use his speed. He's beaten two. He's come all the way down to the other end. Turning shot. Danny Church. Probably a pass would have been a better option, but fair play to him. He fancied his chances. He did get the turn in, but couldn't get any power behind the shot. Remains 3 1. No free kick there. Good strength shown by Neil Mark. Anderson takes the throw. Come on, Sweet just puts it a little too far in front of him. Does well to win it back, mate. Yeah. 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 
Bellis is played by Sam Beads. He's on Bard again. Cuts it out. Swing. Beat forward. Out of play. It's a nice play by Sweet. Just couldn't get the space to find the shot. It's good footwork. Come on, Pierre. Some breathing going on, you can probably hear over the microphone. Boys in this match, we put everything into it. Chivamar, Chivamar with the throw. Gara against Jenkins. Just to check back, nobody there for the pass, and that may allow your castle to counter attack. Too far forward, that's easy for Haynes to pass it back. Newcastle win it back again, but that isn't a good one. Well done, Billy. Well done, Billy. Brilliant again. Good. Work back, Billy. Good action. Midfield work. Need some help. Bit of a blind pass. Ogara was offside, which is why he pulled up. And there's an injury on the left hand side. Off the pitch there, receiving treatment. I think he's just on the pitch, so they, they just want him off the pitch before they can continue to play again. James Smith is going to restart the action with a drop ball. Nobody from St. B's challenging this. So I assume this will just be pumped forward. Hey, come on. Jake, has it. Just on the byline, it's chance. We're still there, whistle goes. Beat. Intensity! Let's go! Let's go! Nick go! Come on! Bill! Bill! Billy! Comes. It's confidently taken out by Dominic Brook. Nick! Ogara, Ogara. 
the game's to be sent. Ogara. Oh, this is superb play. Ogara, can he go all the way? Oh, he's straight across the face of goal. Well, the run deserved the goal. He went past two players. Let's have a look at the replay. There he is. Just at the angle, and he just drags it across goal. Spike Brett's beaten. That could really have probably put it beyond all doubt. Your castle live to fight another day. from that I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Margie does well to turn away but it's one back again by your castle. Lombard. Now Anderson. That's a free kick. Long shield. Shield will take it himself. Goes along for Man Cisador. It's going to be a corner. Sun getting lower. Cameron, keeper. Pitch still bathed in sunshine. On the line. All of you. Let's go. The player of the game will be live very shortly as this corner comes in. It's free header almost at the back post. I think it was Louis Fallon, the captain, it fell to. Just put it wide. The player of the game, the poll will be going live very shortly at Schools Football. English Schools Football Association Twitter, that's where the poll will be. Two players from each side in the poll. I will let you know when that goes live so you can get over to Twitter and vote for your player of the game. From your votes. The one who receives the most votes will receive a trophy at the end of the game. Brits <laughs> just living a little dangerously there. Oh. Take the throw, force him beats. Just hold it slightly. Start getting join shots in. on there. Jake, join in. Stand up, William. Stand up, Dalton. Yes, no, 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 no. Poked out. So it's a corner for your castle. Player of the game, Paul, is now, now live on Twitter at Schools Football. Your choices are Brits and Jenkins from Ewell. Ogara and Mancisdor from St. Beads. So get out there, get voting. Make your say. Make your throw. 
Nick, get back! We need more space! Nick, get back! Wait, wait! Josh, come away! Oh, a little bit of time. Come! 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 Just looking for a teammate. Oh, Harry, well play the out, pass! Better! Billy! Pass! Billy! in front of him. Goes down the line. It's a lovely ball for Man Cizador. Needs support in the centre though. He'll have a little bit of time to wait for it to arrive. Oh, wins it back. Oh, the Okwagri. He deserves a goal, Dilly Okwagri. He's had to disallow for offside, but he was just leaning back a little bit there as the ball came to him. And it went over the bar. Simple football. Plenty of time here, you'll still. Around Eight seven minutes eight, left in the player of the game vote. Keep winning Get that over to Twitter. Second, at Schools Football. All you can do. Have your say. Who should be player of the game from this match? Brits, Jenkins, O'Gara and Mansis Dorn are your choices. Well, come on. Stop throwing yourself on the ground, Flower. Oh, this is Dorp. Yes, Harry. Great job, Chris. Ogara. Ricochet's back off him. Allows Brooks to pick it up. Come on. Up to third. Come on. 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 Come it's going to be a St. Bede's throw. Jay, this is your man here, Jay. Jay, Jay, come stay for the team. Nick, Nick, watch, Jack. Which of them aren't going to take the throw? Just a little hold up. Throw coming in now. Good, Jackie. Lovely, Jack. This is no, no chance. Round two. It's a good tackle. Oh, no, again, no. Struck at it. Shields. Looking for Ogara. Jenkins looking to get it back to Brits. Does just. Important touch by Jenkins there to get it back to his goalkeeper. <clears throat> Five minutes left on the player of the game, boat. At schools football. You can choose who you think the player of the game is from the four choices on there. The winner will receive the player of the game trophy at the end of the match. At schools football on Twitter. Do it early, boys. Organise now. Mike, organise now. Come on, Beats. It's a corner for St. Beats. The door will take it. <laughs> Six into the box, so Gara just on the edge in a lot of space. Jenkins comes out now to cover him. And it comes, oh, it's straight in. Or it may have got a touch, it's 4 1 St. Beads. And Scizador firing in. I think it might have been Fallon who's claiming it. We'll look at the replay. And see if we can work out from the corner. Yes, it is. It's definitely Fallon's goal. Lovely header, rose high above everyone. And St. Bede's lead 4-1. And with just under eight minutes remaining plus stoppages, you have to say that St. Bede's probably have the trophy in the bag now. Right, come on, fellas. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Hard work. However, it's no slight against Yule Castle who have applied themselves brilliantly in what is their first English schools FA final. First win! First win! He's got space. Is this another one? It is! Beautiful finish again by Man it's 5-1. Have a look again. He just uses his speed, gets away from Garside, fires it across Brits into the corner. What a talent this young man is. 
Bennett Mancisador. Four of St. Bede's five goals in this match. It's 5 1. Apologies if you've heard any choice language there. It's Nogara. Taken away, but St. Pete's retained possession. It goes wide. Nogui. Just let it run away from him, but it might fall for Nancisador again. No, it's taken away. That's a nice play. Under Indy doing very well. Going in, he can't win the ball. It's Mancisador. Options in the centre. He's up against Deval. Is Ogara oh, well poked away from him? Good defence. Which Van does. Just to get it going again quickly. Just get poked out of play, he takes the throw. It's a tag. It's picked up by Brock. Brock just takes his time. Six man keeper. Shape then. 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 Poked away by Garza, but doesn't find touch in Nakagui. No. No. Now it is now. It will be a bit of St. Bede's throw. Each of them are sprints over to take the throw. It's McGough who's on as a substitute. McGough can't get the Cross in, so it'll be a goal kick for Under three minutes left for stoppages. There have been a few, so I expect there'll be at least a couple of minutes of stoppage time at the end of this game. It's about a free kick for St. Beads as they look to stretch their lead even further. Where's that second ball going? Find it. Exactly there. Slips it. 
Way in the centre. Two in front of him. Shiver man. Give her a again, but loses out. Wins it back though. Well, Shiver man. Take it past the defender. Send it through. Sweet. Beats one. There's two in front of him. Has to check back. He's won the free kick. It's the chance for you or Castle to get consolation. Take it himself. Into the final minute of normal time. Sweet buys it in, okay, but shape went again. for goal, but wide. Turn of face. Sure, Dominic Brook will. Iowa, where's that ball going? Take as much time as he can. Nice play. No mark. Hits it forward. This is the door looking for Ogara. Cargui with the shot, oh, he's scrambling a little bit, shot was on target. And 70 minutes is up on the clock. The time of the referee is adding on the stoppages. Very good performance by St. Beads. Here's Man Sizzador. Another great game he's had with four goals. Plays it to Man Sizzador. Finds Chivermar eventually. Put in just over the head of Ogarbu. Fired in. Just over the bar. Sam Beads not satisfied. Even though we're into stoppage time now, they're looking for more. It's been an excellent performance by them. But that's to take nothing away from you or Castle. <laughs> They'll learn from this in their first English Schools it. FA final. And I'm sure they'll come back from it stronger. Thomas. Thomas manages to get it into touch. William walking. Let's have it again. Well done. Yes, This is Dor gets it back. To the bottom line. The pressure from Jenkins get it to sit. The wing. By Anderson. Well, yeah. Just one two. Uh, to get back on it. Wider, 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 
And there is the full time whistle. St. Bede's College from Manchester. By the under 13 PlayStation FC Small Schools Cup champions. A well deserved victory. Five goals to one. They take it and they celebrate as well they might. As the table comes on for the presentations, the presentations will take place shortly. No. Tap elbows, show respect to their opponents. Your castle takes two teams to make a final. Your castle. <laughs> certainly played their part in the 70 minutes we've had today. So, before the presentations take place, let's have a look at the highlights from the game. This is the opening goal, and Sizzador firing it back in as the Brits had cleared, but was well off his line, and fired it back into the net. Castle did equalise from the penalty spot. Captain Will Sweet. Lovely penalty into the corner, and that was 1 1. St. Bede's retook the leader. The ball that found Mancisador and he went round Brits. Almost stumbled, but still had the presence of mind to find the empty net. And that was 2 1. To the second half, and another ball over the top finds Mancisador, and that was 3 1. A confident finish for his hat trick. This was Cargui offside. Testing. So that one didn't count. There's a chance for Angara, but he put it straight across the face of goal. He was so disappointed with himself. He did brilliantly to get into that position. However, it did become 4 1. This is Dawes Corner. Headed in by Captain Louis Fallon. Very shortly after, Mancisdor with his fourth, showing great strength and speed to go past the St. Hill defence, the Ewell Castle defence, and put it into the net. The presentations will be taking place shortly. You see the trophy is there on the table. It's going to be to captain. Louis Fallon will be picking that up. But while we await the presentation, we'll take a short break and we'll be back when the presentation gets underway.
Okay, ladies and gents, we will uh, now make the presentation of the medals and trophy on the field of play. Uh, first of all, we'll call forward today's match officials, and we thank them for their support for this afternoon's final, so let's show our appreciation by putting our hands together as the referee, James Smith, assistant referees, Grant Hodgson and Colin Williams, and the fourth official, Bill Quirk, come forward to collect their medals. Before we move on to present the commemorative medals, we have a couple of presentations to make. First of all, for a player of the match award, which has been voted for by viewers watching the match on ESA TV this afternoon, and the viewers have voted for Young Castle number one, Spike Britz, player of the match. Please come forward. Young Castle goalkeeper Spike Britz, game player of the match. Yes, it was 5-1, but I think if it hadn't been for Spike Britz, it would have been a lot bigger margin for St. Beats. So congratulations to Spike Britz, and thank you to all those who took the time to vote. And there's another yes, individual eight, on today's pitch eight. that deserves a special mention, and we're going to call forward Ben Yat Mancisidor, who scored two amazing goals for CB, so if he comes forward to collect the match ball, well done, Ben Yat. Ben collects the match ball for his four goals. Congratulations to you, it is well you contributed to a fantastic national final today. You should be very proud of your performance, especially if you've reached the national final of all the schools in England. So, tremendous effort, guys. Well done. Please come forward and collect your medals. So, the runs up, your castle, collect their medals. Captain Will Sweet scored their goal. 
goal from the penalty spot. Don't be disappointed. As the PA said there. Other schools in England to get to the final, so a fantastic achievement for them. They will learn a lot from this experience. back again the next season. Now on to this afternoon's winners and national champions of the English Schools FA Under 13 PlayStation Small Schools Cup, St. Bede's College from Manchester. Welcome to St. Bede's go up to collect their medals. Trophy. And the captain of St. Bede's College, number five, Louis Fallon, will collect the trophy on behalf of St. Bede's to crown them champions of England for 2020. St. Bede's College. National champions of England. They celebrate after a 5-1 victory over Ewell Castle. Fabulous performance. They celebrate well. Well, thank you very much for joining us on this ESFA TV live stream from Lillishaw. From me, Jonathan Bullard. Thank you very much for watching this afternoon. And as St. Bede's College from Manchester celebrate with the trophy, we'll say goodbye. Once again, thanks for joining us and have a great rest of your day. <laughs>